Now continue, we continue with exercise 13.1. Fourth question, identify the greater number wherever possible in each of the following. Now the exponential forms are given. You have to find out which one is greater. Then first one, 4 raised to the power 3 or 4 cubed or 3 raised to the power 4. Now we can find out the value. What is 4 raised to 3? Now 4 raised to 3, 4 raised to the power 3 is equal to 4 is multiplied by itself 3 times. So 4 into 4 into 4 equal to 4 4 are 16. So 16 into 4. 64. So 4 raised to the power 3 means it is a 64. Now next 3 raised to the power 4 equal to 3 is multiplied by itself 4 times. So 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 equal to 3 3 is a 9. Again 3 3 is a 9. 9 into 9 equal to 81. Now first one 4 raised to the power 3 we got as 64 then a second one 3 raised to the power 4 we got as 81 which one is greater 81 is greater so we can write 3 raised to the power 4 is greater than 4 raised to the power 3 3 raised to the power 4 is greater than 4 raised to the power 3 now second one 5 cube or 3 raised to the power 5. So first to find out the value of 5 cubed. What is 5 cubed? The number 5 is multiplied by itself 3 times. So 5 into 5 into 5. 5 5 is 25. 25 into 5. 25 into 5. 5 5 is 25. 2 is the carry over. 2 5 is 10 plus 2. 1, 125. So 5 raised to the power 3 means 125. Then 3 raised to the power 5 equal to 3 into 3. 3 is repeated how many times? 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal to 3, 3 is 9. Again 3 into 3, 9. So 9 into 9 into 3 equal to 9, 9 is 81. 81 into 3. So we have to find out 81 into 3. 81 into 3, 243. So 3 raised to 5, the value is 243. And 5 raised to power 3, the value is 125. Which one is greater? 243 is greater than 125. So we can write as 3 raised to the power 5 is greater than 5 raised to the power 3. 3 raised to the power 5 is greater than 5 raised to the power 3. Now next one. 2 raised to the power 8 or 8 raised to the power 2. Now 2 raised to the power 8 means 2 is multiplied by itself 8 times. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 4 5 6 7 8 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So equal to. Then we know that 2, 2 are 4, 4, 2 are 8, 8 into 2, 16. Into again, 2, 2 are 4, 4, 2 are 8, 8 into 2, 16. So we can find out what is 16 into 16. So 16 into 16, you have to find out the product 256. Now we have to, uh, look, again we have to find out the value of uh, 8 square. So 8 square means uh, 8 into 8 equal to 64. Then out of this which one is greater? 256 or 64? 256 is greater. So we can write as uh, 2 raised to the power 8 is greater than 8 raised to the power 2. 2 raised to the power 8 is greater than 8 raised to the power 2. Now question number 5, 
express each of the following as product of powers of their prime factors express each of the following as product of powers of their prime factors so each number you have to express as the product of a prime factors and you have to express them in a powers so 648 you have to do the prime factorization so 648 we can start with 648 is an even number so we can start with 2 and if you are not getting the quotient what you have to do you have to do the division separately then uh, here i will write down straight away 2 3s are 6 2 2s are 4 2 4s are 8 then uh, again with 2 1 time 2 6s are 12 2 2s are 4 then again with 2 2 8s are 16 then 1 Then 81. Can we divide it by 2? No, not possible. Then 8 plus 1 equal to 9. So 81 is divisible by 3. So we can do with the 3. 3 2s are 6. Then 21 will come. 3 7s are 21. Then again with the 3. 3 9s are 27. Then with the 3. 3 3s are 9. Then 3 1. Therefore, you can see that. 2 is repeated 3 times and 3 is repeated 4 times so 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 equal to then 2 is multiplied by itself 3 times so we can write it as 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 is multiplied by itself 4 times so 3 raised to the power Four. So the answer is a two raised to the power three into three raised to the power four. Now next one, four hundred five. So four hundred five, we can do the division with the five. So five eights are forty. Then one time, then eighty one. We can do with the three, twenty seven. Three nines are twenty seven. Three threes are nine. Again with the three. One. Therefore, four hundred five is equal to five into three is repeated four times. So three into three into three into three equal to five. We can write it as five raised to the power one. Then into three is multiplied by itself four times. So three raised to the power four. So five raised to one into three raised to the power four, or simply. 5 into 3 raised to 4, or 5 into 3 raised to 4. Now next number 540. 540. So 540 we can uh, start the division with the which prime number? 5. Then 5. If you do with the 5, 540 divided by 5, one time 5. Zero, bring four down. Not possible. So put a zero in the quotient. Then bring the next digit down. Zero. Then a five eights are forty. So here it is a one hundred eight. Then one hundred eight we can do with the two. Two five is a ten. Two four is a eight. Again with the two. Two two is a four. Two seven is a fourteen. Then with the three, three nine is a twenty seven. Again with the three, three three is a nine. Therefore, five hundred forty is equal to five is repeated only one time. So five into two is repeated two times. Two into two into three is repeated three times. Three into three into three. Then equal to five is a there only one time, so we can write it as a five raised to the power one into two is multiplied by itself two times, so two raised to the power two into three is multiplied by itself three times, so three raised to the power three. So five raised to one into two raised to the power two into three raised to the power three.
now question number 6 simplify you have to simplify that means you have to find out the value then 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 so that is 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 or 10 cubed means 10 is multiplied by itself 3 times 10 into 10 into 10 then equal to 2 into 10 into 10 into 10 means it is a 1000 so 2 into 1000 so the answer is a 2000 so when you simplify 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 you will get the answer as a 2000 now next one 7 squared into 2 squared so 7 squared means 7 into 7 into 2 square means 2 into 2 equal to first we can multiply the uh, we, uh, that means we can find the product of a 7 into 7 7 into 7 equal to 49 so 49 into 2 into 2 that is a 4 so which is equal to 49 into 4 so 196 next step. 2 cubed into 5 2 cubed means 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 then 2 2 so 4 4 2 so 8 8 into 5 equal to 4 so 2 cube into 5 so the value is 40 then 5 square into 3 cube so 5 square means 5 into 5 into 3 cube means 3 is multiplied by itself 3 times 3 into 3 into 3 equal to first to find the product of a 5 into 5 5 into 5 is 25 into 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 so 25 into 27 or 27 into 25 7 5 is a 35 carry over 3 2 5 is a 10 10 plus 3 13 2 7 is a 14 carry over 1 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 5 5 75. So the answer is 675. Therefore, 5 square into 3 cube is equal to 675. Now, next simplify. Now, here the base is given as a negative integer. The base is a negative integer. Then, negative 4 raised to the power 3. That means negative 4 into negative 4 into negative 4 equal to. So, what is the sign of the product? Here we have 3 negative integers. Therefore, the sign of the product is negative. Then negative 4 into 4, 16. 16 into 4, 16 into 4, 64. So, the answer is negative 64. Next, negative 3 into negative 2 into negative 2 into negative 2. Negative 2 is multiplied by itself 3 times. Now, what will be the sign of the product? How many negative integers are there? 4 negative integers. If 4 negative integers are there, the sign of the product is positive. Therefore, 3 2 is 6, 6 2 is 12, 12 into 2 24, 3 2 is 6 into 2 2 is 4, so 6 4 is 24. Next step, negative 3 squared into negative 5 squared equal to negative 3 into negative 3 into negative 5 into negative 5 then here also we have 4 negative integers therefore the sign of the product will be positive then 3 3 is a 9 into 5 5 is a 25 so 9 into 25 25 into 9 
so 225 therefore the value of negative 3 raised to the power 2 into negative 5 raised to the power 2 or negative 3 squared into negative 5 squared is equal to 225 now homework exercise 13.1 question number 4 5 6 and 7 subdivision questions so that's all for today's class thank you